Welcome to Wago Guides. In this Wago Guide, we're going to take a look at how to send confidential messages in Gmail and what the recipient will see. Let's get straight into it. In 2019, Gmail introduced a new feature for all users called Confidential Mode. It allows users to send messages with a specified expiry date and provides a number of features such as SMS passcodes which can limit who can read an email when you send it. When a confidential message is sent from one Gmail user to another, they can be set to expire after a specified period such as a day, a week or a month and can be secured with an SMS passcode. When a Gmail message is written by a Gmail user and turned into a confidential message, it can be sent by that user directly to another Gmail user. It will appear in their inbox and can be read just like a normal message. From the point at which the confidential message is received in the Gmail user's inbox, the expiry countdown will begin and that message will simply disappear from their inbox once it reaches the end of the expiry period. Confidential messages cannot be copied, forwarded or printed by the user who receives them in any conventional way. The contents of the message can of course be copied and pasted by the email recipient once they have access to that message. Before we look at how to send confidential emails however, let's take a moment just to be clear on what confidential mode isn't. When you send a message using confidential mode, you're not actually sending an email. What you send is a link to a secure space on the Google servers. If you're sending a message to another Gmail user, then that message can be viewed by them in Gmail. If however you're sending that message to an email user outside of Gmail, they'll be prompted to view it in a web browser but both of those users will end up at the secure server. The messages that are stored on the server are not private in any way. They can still be read by Google. It's also worth noting out that the messages are not encrypted or in any way secret. Gmail's confidential mode provides a sort of compromise between convenience and the degree of security for your messages. Now let's take a look at how we send confidential messages in Gmail. We're already logged into Google Gmail. Let's start by composing a message. We do that by clicking Compose in the top left hand corner. I'm going to write a message to a Woggle spy who's also a Gmail user. We'll quickly write that message now. In order to turn this into a confidential message, we need to click on the confidential mode icon. Once we click on that, we're offered a number of options. The first of these is to set a expiry date for it. As you can see, we've got options around days, weeks, months. Our second option is to assign an SMS passcode. Now in this case, we'll, we'll do that. We will be asked to provide a mobile telephone number when we send the message. So you can see the expiry date is confirmed at the bottom and to send it, we click the send button. Now this prompt is for the recipient's mobile number so that they can effectively verify they are who they are and then view the message. And the message is sent and there's a confirmation there that confirms that. So turning to the confidential message recipient's inbox, you'll see that the message arrives in their inbox just like any other message. If we click into that message, you'll see their only real option is to click to send a passcode. Now this is the passcode that will be sent to the number that you've already provided when you sent the confidential email. So let's click send passcode. Turning to that user's mobile device, you'll see that a code is received 
And if you now enter that passcode in the appropriate field, you'll see that the contents of the email are now shown. Let's now move on to look at the experience with confidential mode for a non-Gmail user. We'll send another email, and this time we'll send it to someone with an Outlook account. We've seen this before, so we'll just zip through it very quickly. And in this instance, we'll choose not to have an SMS passcode. Turning to the recipient's inbox, you'll see that they receive a confidential message. And if we click into that, they're given an option to view the email. So let's click that button now. In order to view it, they must confirm their identity. So a passcode will be sent to their email address. Let's click that now. And if we return to the inbox, you'll see that verification code has arrived. And if we make a note of that and return to the passcode entry field, and let's enter that number and press submit, you'll see that the message is displayed, as well as the date at which the content will expire. One last thing to show before we leave this guide is how to revoke access. To do that, we just go into the sent folder and you'll see that the confidential messages we've sent are there. To revoke access, we click into one of those messages and you'll see that there is an option on the right hand side to remove access. If we click the remove access button, then the access rights to the email for the recipient are immediately revoked. I do hope you found this Wobble Guide useful. If you have, please subscribe so that other users can find it too. If you have any questions on confidential emails or suggestions on topics for future Wobble Guides you'd like to see, please share that in the comment section down below. Look after yourself until next time.